everyone, it's Gino again with the fabulous Flamingo. Uh, I know there was a lot of questions and already received quite a few, so instead of responding to them, uh, typing all out all the answers, we'll just respond to it real quick. Uh, the airplane, one of the questions was, is it the only one that's out there? As far as we know it is, uh, there was one in the 1970s on a TV show called Real People, where the guy had taken one and kind of strapped it to a bus, uh, bus frame, and it really wasn't the safest thing from what I understand. I was just a young kid at the time. And then he went around and sold it to another guy who kind of made it into a motorhome, and then they sold it to another guy. And right now it's kind of like a space shuttle. It, it looks really nothing like the DC-3, and they really didn't keep any of the uh, accoutrements that make it you know, a really cool airplane. It's more of a commercial-type vehicle that I don't know, it just doesn't do it for me. There was a guy that kind of inspired me on this, and he's long been since dead, but he saved the DC-3 in the 50s uh, out of Queensland, Australia, and they made it like a little, uh, like a little, uh, just a truck out of the front of it, and that was kind of neat. And somehow I saw that when I was a little kid, and I thought someday I'm going to build me a big airplane motorhome, and, and that's what we did with this one here. Uh, the other questions are about the paint. The paint's actually the color paint scheme for a 50s airliner. But the colors that we chose were for the 1959 Mercury Interstate Cruiser. We just thought it was kind of cool. Uh, the airplane motorhome does have everything in it. Bathtub, as you'll see later on. Uh, it's got a sink. Uh, some requests of my wife were in there. It's a bathtub and then the, some special seats. The way you get into the airplane is through an air stair door that we made over here. Um, yes, I know that's not where they came on the airplane, but... Again, we had to make some stuff and take some liberty of doing certain things, but we wanted to keep everything aviation related on it. Right down to the fenders, these are the uh, cowlings off of the engines that were on the airplane, and most of the pieces and parts on the inside of the airplane down to the window seals came from old aircraft, uh, used spars out of Stearman's, um, and a lot of Taylor crafts and stuff from the 40s. We saved all the Sitka spruce, uh, made those up in there. Um, trying to think a couple of the other questions we've been asked for it. Uh, well, I can't think of anything right now. Oh, the, the logo on the airplane itself, that is the FAA logo that was on the airplane. We had a lot of ideas of, you know, changing that around, um, kind of like making, you know, the world is our playground or something. Just a couple neat different ideas that we thought about doing on there, but instead we just clear coated over it. We Again, we wanted to keep the a lot of the themes and stuff that makes the airplane the airplane itself right down to the if you look right here these pieces here that we smashed our heads on a couple hundred times while building it they're actually the wing attach points on the airplane which makes it exactly right at the max legal width in all 50 states um, so we built trusses up and pieces in there for that um, it's uh, like I said it's on an international truck frame um, what else really we can tell you about it right now we can go into some modifying and things later on oh, uh, this right here my cameraman pointed out to me this is the kink this is one of the things that we left into the airplane um, I, had, I do have an airplane salvage and repair business but we left this into the airplane because we wanted folks to realize that we didn't take a good airplane and cut it up for our pleasure we just we, that's totally foreign to what we do as a matter of fact, there were some things we wanted to keep inside the airplane um, for ourselves. It would just kind of made it a little bit unique. But we found out that there was an airplane they were restoring over in France, and they had kind of contacted us at the Oshkosh Air Show, and we got those pieces to those folks so they could take an airplane and make it operational. So there were a lot of good things left on it. We did make sure that they get put back into it. One of the con questions was about the condition of the airplane. Uh, if my cameraman will turn around. This right here, this is like the third airplane. There was three of them on the ramp down in Rolla. This is probably the best looking of the three. Um, to the untrained eye, it probably looks like uh, it should never fly again, but it could fly. The one we had taken this one from, she was laying on the ground, and pretty much the wings were ripped off on one side, and it was the tips were all ripped off. Uh, one of the nacelles was pretty well bad damaged. And we're just taking those apart and trying to get those home now. So I guess that's about all we have for it right now. Uh, again, I do want to give a special thanks and a shout out to Frontier Truck Parts and the folks here at the Rolla Airport. They have been just phenomenal in working with us. And 
and making this whole thing happen. If you you don't have people uh, helping you out, it just isn't. It, it's not going to work. Yeah, I built it by myself with my son, but along the way there were a lot of folks that helped us without actually laying hands on the airplane. And hopefully we never forget to uh, thank those folks. So thanks again. Uh, you can check us out. Like I said, uh, fabulous flamingo. Keep looking us up. We also have a Facebook page for our company, Round Engineero, and we post stuff on there all the time. And uh, as another side note, if you will, there's a World War II bird. It was a DC-3, uh, a true C-47 that had history from literally the beginning of the war all the way through to the end of the war. Uh, that was part of this trio that was laying out here in Missouri, and we were able to save that airplane. So hopefully we'll be able to show you some videos about that airplane too. Um, we know the pilot. A lot of the paratroopers that jumped out of it. We know the missions it flew. So just a phenomenal piece of history that we had to save. Um, and we're real grateful and appreciative to be a part of that. So thanks again. Have a great day. And visit us on Facebook.